Hey, welcome back. Uh, this video, I'm going to be doing a demo on these this rising hinge set. Uh, a lot of people seem to be asking about rising hinges and how they work. Uh, so what I've actually set up here is a a dummy run for a uh, gate that we're building. So what I've done is I'll go back in here and have a look. What I've done is I've created a just a timber frame which has a 90 degree and uh, I've set this uh, timber post, this is a temporary post, there's going to be a hint, uh, steel post going in here later but I've just set up a timber post, a good timber as you can just screw bugles in and just temporarily attach things instead of uh, making the whole thing out of steel. Uh, obviously once you start doing steel you're going to have an issue. So this fence is actually going up a little bit higher, it's going to come up 200. That top of that um, timber post is actually the top of the post. So uh, what you're looking for is for this gate to actually lift up in the air as it comes around. So you can see the driveway here slopes up about 100, you know, 120, 130. Um, well, probably even more than that. And this is going to be like a double gate. So um, the deal with this gate, it's in between two fixed sizes. So the hinge gap and the gate spacing has to be calculated perfectly like if this wasn't a fixed opening then you could make it wider or shorter or you know you could play around with the opening size so because this is a fixed size and uh, I'm not going to be able to change it they are um, basically uh, has to be worked out perfectly so um, this is the rising hinge set so you can see that the hinging point of the gate is offset it's actually on the outside you can see and that little plate is adjustable so you see how it's on a slight angle because when this actually comes around you'll see that the gate is now on an angle so I'll come back here you can have a look so you can see the 90 degree is now rising up and because I've put my timber timber and I can see that the gate's going to clear that uh, the ground at that point because the worst thing that can happen is the gate swings around and it hits there so at this point I can move this up or down and moving this up or down I can adjust the hinge gap underneath you don't really want a massive hinge gap you, know, you don't want like a 200 hinge gap but I'd say a maximum of 100 underneath so as long as the customer can live with 100 um, underneath uh, that's gonna um, be fine. Uh, the problem with lifting the gate 100 up in the air is that it's pretty hard to use a ground stopper in the middle here. So uh, we're gonna have to work that out. Um, uh, normally uh, we just put a tab on one of the gates and it closes on the other gate and because we've got um, uh, we're gonna be using hydraulic motors on this they're, they're pretty yeah they lock pretty good in, into position so um, that should be fine. So that's how the rising hinge setup works. Come back around, you can see it. Come back. So you want to get a consistent gap here. So this one's got a 90 mil top and bottom. So a lot of people don't like the the gap, the hinge gap. But the reason you need that is that you watch the top. It almost the gate top of the gate almost hits the top of the post. So one of the things to look out for with these rising hinges is that the top of the um, gate actually hits the top of the post and that can be uh, like a bit of a problem. So you can see here, um, this frame's actually being cut to the right width. So with this gate I'm actually going to, uh, it's actually going to have timber on it, I'm actually going to overlap the gate frame with the frame frame's going to actually come out and overlap the frame and so we'll only have a 20 mil hinge gap here instead of an 80 uh, unless the customer doesn't mind an 80 uh, whatever, whatever I said it was um, but um, yeah that's a basic rundown of these, this rising hinge set um, hit like and subscribe if you're a fencer out there say hi if you're a gate builder or if you're a DIYer uh, feel free to ask questions I'll try and get back to you 
but um, yeah, really wanted to be helpful to people out there that are doing um, fencing and gate projects. Have a great day. Catch you later.